Hey guys, this is Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today, I want to talk uh, or discuss, have a discussion with you uh, regarding collecting during quarantine. Now, this video is inspired uh, by my buddy Dirk Werning over at uh, Dirk Werning YouTube channel. Dirk is a, a watch guy, but he's mostly a knife guy, so he does a lot of great review on knives. And uh, I'm not a knife guy, but um, if I become one, it's because of Turk. It's his fault. Um, but he posed a question to his subscribers and, and to the world in general. How has your collecting philosophy or your collecting has have changed during this time? Has it or, or hasn't it, maybe? Um, so I've been meaning to make a video like this for a while, but he gave me the inspiration today. So thank you, Dirk, for helping me out with that. And so... You know, I, I have here uh, the watches that I've bought during quarantine that have remained in the collection. I have bought and sold others during this time, mostly for the channel for review's sake. Um, so um, there has been other watches, um, but these are the ones that, that are sticking for a while. And a couple of these I just had bought recently. Um, and, I'll, and I'll go over them with you. Um, but, uh, you know, I mainly work from home, and I have been for a long time. Uh, we do have an office nearby, and every once in a while, maybe once every one or two months, I would have to go into the city, meaning New York City, um, to headquarters. Uh, but since um, quarantine, about a month or two into it, they, de they decided, you know, um, to get rid of that office, um, not the headquarters office in New York, but the one in New Jersey. Um, because really, you know, we were working from remote anyway. So now I'm technically remote. Um, so which is great. You know, I, I get a lot of work done. I also can help out with the kids. Um, they actually get more hours out of me, which is funny. Uh, no commute, eating at my uh, in front of my computer at lunch. So um, it, 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 it is a win-win, I would have to say. I'm spending less money on gas and like eating out uh, for lunch and stuff like that more money for watches and so let that's a segue into um what i want to talk about how it has my collecting uh change and i would say that i'm probably excluding the channel excluding getting watches in for review and lending them out and then flipping them uh, i probably am a little bit more active in the purchasing side and and that's because like believe it or not even though i'm working more um, and I have the kids, I still, and, and I'm doing stuff around the house and whatnot. Um, I still have time. I still have probably more time now uh, to, um, you know, surf online and, and, and look at, you know, um, sites and buy, buy watches because I am not commuting anymore, right? So that saves me a couple hours a day. Uh, I'm not going to visit family as much. Uh, the weekends are pretty much we're here um, on the on on the property. We have about three and a half acres, so the kids can run around and and trust me, there's plenty of work to be done on the property. Um, and we're not going to Crayola factory for the kids uh, per se. We're not doing that kind of stuff. So we are staying close to home, which cuts um, time that is uh, wasted um, driving around or getting from place to place. So. I have more time basically to look at watches um, and more time to convince myself that I need this watch or that watch. And, and the first watch I, that in my collection that I bought in quarantine and is this um, is the G-Shock, um, the metal G-Shock Tron. And this watch uh, is great. I love it. Um, heavily influenced by uh, the group of guys that uh, I uh, chat with on a daily basis. Um, on the Discord server, Random Rob's Discord server, uh, I've become fascinated with G-Shocks, and uh, and I'll probably add that titanium soon, <laughs> um, maybe maybe at the end of the year. Uh, I also picked up the Tudor. Now this would eventually happen anyway, whether uh, quarantine happened or not, because I have the original Black Bay, and this is a uh, 58, and this is the Black Bay 58 Blue. Um, so I picked this up in July. Uh, like I said, I would have probably bought this anyway, regardless uh, whether we were in quarantine or not. Uh, but great watch. Uh, I love it. Uh, recently picked up the Gino um, Chronograph Series 40 uh, Classique. Now, this is this is a watch solely responsible uh, due to quarantine. Um, I, 
had plenty of time to research German brands and German brands that I didn't know of, which I may not have had if uh, if I wasn't in seclusion. Um, and so we got the I got this. I picked this up, and uh, and man, I'm really really happy about this. Uh, I love this watch. Uh, we'll be doing a review on it soon, and then I get reacquainted and reunited with the Sarb 33033, which I bought recently as well. Uh, I I had sold it last year. Uh, probably the biggest watch selling regret that I had. Uh, if it's not the one, it's up there. Um, but this watch is awesome, a lot of fun, and uh, it's my de facto uh, dress watch. Not that I'm gonna need to go anywhere for a dressy occasion anytime soon, but I convinced myself that I need one. And uh, unfortunately, this was made available uh, for purchase uh, to me, and, uh, and, I, and I jumped on it because, um, you know, I missed it. And I was thinking about rebuying it. I had a window a few months ago, and I missed it, and, uh, and it happened again. And that's a great thing about collecting. If you have the patience, these windows come up every so often. So um, I think in quarantine, my habits have been amplified. Uh, Miracle Grow has been added, and uh, my purchasing is more active. Now, that could be either positive or negative. Um, it's not a negative. I don't see is that an, you know I'm 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 perfectly capable of uh, of buying these watches. I'm not putting the family in debt. Um, I am not in debt. You know these watches. Um, after I pay my mortgage, put my money into 401k plan, IRA, uh, family investment. Um, paying um, eventually for, you know, putting money in for a kid's college tuition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whatever is left over, um, I dedicate it to my hobby um, with the um, the thumbs up or the permission, <laughs> so to speak, of Mrs. Legs. Another awesome benefit of quarantine, I, I know that's crazy to say, and, and I'm not minimizing how this is, what's going on in the world has affected other people. I've, you know, I've uh, law, uh, somebody I knew passed away. Um, a couple of my coworkers, their in-laws have passed away. So this is, it's a very, very serious time, but my friendships in the watch enthusiast community have only but strengthened and am been amplified as well. I mean, I would have never considered doing, first of all, I would have never considered doing live streams until this time. And, uh, and it's because of boredom. I do my live streams on Friday nights. Usually Friday nights, usually people are out. Um, not that I was going out, but I have the time and there's people around and, and I've done live streams. I've gotten close with a couple of people that I talk to now on a daily basis. I talk to a couple guys in the watch enthusiast community more than I talk to my family and some of my friends. So it's been a wonderful, wonderful um, cons um, side effect of, of what's going on. You know, I, I still appreciate and understand how this is a really, really rough period in a lot of people's lives, and I don't want to minimize that. Um, but, you know, if I can get something positive in my life out of it, it's been why well, I've gotten closer to my family, my immediate family, my kids, and, and my wife, of course, and uh, developing <clears throat> friendships in the hobby um, that I are beyond my wildest dreams. My, my channel's coming up to a one-year anniversary um, and I never thought it was going to be anything like this when I started this channel uh, about 11 months ago, you know. So, guys, let me know what how your collecting has, has changed or, or if it hasn't changed. Uh, have you guys been able to uh, tighten some of these friendships in the Watch Enthusiast community or not? Um, or maybe quarantine hasn't affected you that way. Maybe you're out there um, and, and, and life is close to normal for you as it has always been. It's a little bit different for us here, uh, for my family, but, um, but so be it, you know, hopefully we'll get past this, um, sooner than later and, uh, and life will return to normal. But thanks again for, for, uh, spending some time with me today. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments. And again, thank you, Dirk, for giving me the inspiration to doing this video today. And I will see you guys in the next video.